scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time talking about the latest Torchwood release, Visiting Hours. Now for those of you who've been following the Tin Dog Podcast for a while, and I know that's a surprisingly large amount of you, you'll know that when I first started out, one of the things that I was reviewing was Torchwood. I was like a machine. Every single episode of Torchwood, there we go, it's on, I'm going to review it. And you'll also remember that I was a huge fan of Series 2. Well, I enjoyed Series 2. Looking back, I enjoyed it a lot more. Series 3 and so on, downhill. But you've got a certain charm. There are there are moments of Series 3 that I quite liked, and Series 4 least said soonest mended, I think, on that one. But we've got release number 13 from Big Finish. Now, like all of the Torchwood releases, we've got a very small cast. It's not a companion chronicle by any stretch of the imagination. It is, without question, a full cast drama. But one of the things that Torchwood does best is the small cast dramas. It did it best on TV. It's small, it's intimate, it's personal, it's just damn good. Torchwood on audio is, by far, the single greatest incarnation of the oeuvre, let's say genre, no, spin-off, let's call it that. It's just brilliant. But here we go with a Gwen Free, well let's call, let's call it a Torchwood Free episode of Torchwood. We're pushing the envelope in new and exciting ways. For example, release number 14 is set in Los Angeles and I suspect has no original cast members in it at all. And if it does, well I've obviously misread. But that's not what we're talking about now, that's for the future. Release number 13 is Visiting Hours, and not only does it have Kai Owen in it playing Reese, but it's also got the single goddess that is Neris Hughes. Yes, to a lot of people, Neris Hughes is just going to be some old lady, but she wasn't. She was the liver bird. She was, well, she was the best thing in Kinder, and let's face it, in Kinder you're up against some pretty stiff competition. And she was just brilliant. In her episode of Torchwood. Neris is back. And let's face it, it's ten years plus since the original Torchwood run. But you can't tell from anyone. Yes, Neris is playing a character her own age. But you've still got that charm, that characterisation, that quality of performance coming through. And let's face it, in this particular story, that's going to drag you through. So... What have we got on the synopsis front? Everyone is a little worried about St. Helen's Hospital. In many ways, it's a miracle of modern NHS. It has plenty to offer its patients. The problem is that a lot of them keep dying of natural causes in the night, and no one can find the bodies. People are beginning to notice. Questions are being asked, and the rumours, the strange, whispering figures seen at the end of corridors, the electrical buzzing, and, of course, the screams... Also, Reese Williams has come to visit his mother. Brenda's had her hip done and is looking forward to a bit of rest and regular crumble. Reese and his ma'am are in for the night they'll never forget. As always, Torchwood contains adult material may not be suitable for younger listeners. But let's face it, if you're listening to Torchwood, you've probably already touched those bases already and everything's going to be fine. You've got lots of other characters. You've got about four other characters in the whole thing. And I won't go into any more depth in explaining who they are. But as a nice little piece of characterization and, well, just damn slice of reality, it's a cracking bit of audio. It's nice to have an expansion of the characters who we've already met and loved. 
Yes, the one thing that I'm a bit sad about is that there isn't a picture of Nerys Hughes on the cover. But you know what? You can't have everything. So, is this a fantastic piece of torchwoodness? Of course it is. Even if it doesn't have the main central cast, well, let's face it, Reese is main central. And Nerys, well, it's just a pleasure to be able to hear her again. So I'll leave you with the trailer and let you decide for yourself, but as far as I'm concerned, it's a cracking little bit of audio, and I can't wait for the next one, because let's face it, audio torchwood is good torchwood. So with that, I'll bid you farewell. Be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions, Torchwood, visiting hours. Ah! <laughs> if you're going to use me as a patching gun, would you mind giving me a bit of warning? All right, ma'am. Which way? Left or right? Where are you going?